The Congress believes uh, mysteriously that it has gotten itself and the federal government out of the economic woes that it and its predecessor Congresses have visited on the federal government by agreeing to borrow more money with ever, without ever agreeing to pay it back. Woodrow Wilson started all this out off about 100 years ago when he borrowed $30 billion to pay for World War I. At the time, the debt of the federal government was $14 billion, so overnight he trebled it from $14 billion to $45 billion. The government this week decided that it would get itself out of its economic woes by not putting a ceiling on the amount of borrowing and basically giving the President of the United States a blank check to exceed $17 trillion in debt. The $17 trillion is an almost unimaginable number. It's almost incomprehensible what that amount of cash would look like. It would fill several football stadiums, even if they were in $100 bills. But beyond that, the concept of debt is utterly destructive because it has to be paid back. And it's not paid back by the government. It's paid back by individual taxpayers. The people that the government owes money to are not going to come and seize government property. The government is going to unleash its tax collectors, excuse me, its debt collectors on the rest of us. The IRS will seize our property if we don't pay in a timely manner. Debt is utterly destructive because it causes us to spend our prosperity to pay for ancient debts. Right now, the federal government collects about two and a half trillion in revenue. Half a trillion is spent on paying debt. Right now, the federal government borrows about 1.2, 1.3 trillion a year. That is half as much as it collects in revenue. So the government is utterly addicted to debt and it never pays it back. You see, the 30 billion that Woodrow Wilson borrowed to fund World War I, we are still paying back. And the money that Barack Obama has borrowed, six trillion so far during his presidency, now another trillion and a half in just the next uh, three or four months, will never be paid back. The bill will get bigger. More of our wealth and prosperity will go to pay back the people that loaned that money to the federal government, and the spiral will continue. At some point, the debt burden will be so great that it will actually be cheaper for individuals not to work and pay income taxes, but rather to be supported by the government. Does that sound apocalyptic? Well, 47% of Americans already don't work and are supported by the government, and they vote. When that number reaches greater than 50, it's a tipping point. Debt destroys, and the government just keeps adding to the debt and to the destruction of our prosperity.